Hello. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Gareth, Ing, Frank. I hope I didn't miss anyone. Claire. Hey, Kenneth. Hi, Welcome. Chrissy. Hi, Claire. How is everything? Yeah, everything's good. It's hot, warm, and sunny. And I nearly missed this live because of bloody daylight savings, right? <laughs> Yeah, we didn't think about that, huh? <laughs> no, completely well, forgot. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah. So, but we adapted and yeah, we're we here. Did. That's right. <laughs> A couple minutes late, but that's okay. Yes, thank you for being so no worries. accommodating. Accommodating. No thank you. worries at all. Um, so let's just jump right into this. Today we're going to be talking about jake evans mm -hmm. the interesting character from texas yes um at the time of him doing what we'll be talking about he was 17 years old can i just say i'm i'm glad we've moved away from australia this week <laughs> <laughs> next week we are too so <laughs> <laughs> But we'll, right. we'll, we'll, we will be going back to it. You know, I have one I want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. Yeah. But we are carrying on the little uh, ho horror movie scene. But we'll yeah. get into that. But not, not on purpose. It, was, it just happened. No. Yep. Yeah. I mean, this, this kid loved Halloween. He's like the, the hey, TP. He's like the um, real life Michael Myers, you know what I mean? He's yeah. He was infatuated by how easy Michael Myers made it look, and how he had no remorse about it, and just life went on, you know. Mm -hmm. Only you see on TV. <laughs> yeah. He, he found out that that's just not how things go in the real world. Yeah. So a little bit not aware <laughs> yeah so what what do we know about jake besides you know from texas 17 i mean he had a pretty pretty large family he had three sisters he did he had three sisters one younger two older um when i was researching this there's actually his name is jacob evans right and if ing's still in chat maybe he knows this um but there is a Jake Evans. I think he's a really good ice hockey player or something from Canada. Yes. Yeah, I saw that. Right. Mm -hmm. What a what a terrible coincidence that that's that's your name. <laughs> <laughs> but then right. I really hadn't heard much about this because this happened back in 2012, right? Yes, October of 2012. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so they, we, we, they had yeah. a pretty uh, elaborate house. I mean, it was a huge, like, mansion. I don't know if yeah. – let me see if I got a picture of it. Got it was five pictures. bedrooms, yeah, five no, bathrooms. Had a pool in the backyard. I didn't get a picture yep. of it. But it was a pretty nice house. I mean. Had a, yeah, had an art room. Yep. Very nice neighborhood. Very, uh, they were homeschooled, right? Yep. Yeah. Didn't go to school. So. Didn't want for anything. Yeah. I mean, had a pretty solid life. I and mean, then just one no, day, no reason for this, and he just uh, got too many viewings of Halloween. Yeah, I think uh, in the week leading up to it, he watched it three times. Yeah, three times that week. Yeah, mm. and he he was quoted as saying that his family was becoming someone he hated, and his sister was racist. Yes. So, yeah, apparently he had gone to the uh, allergist. Yes. And his sister took him or went with him or something. And I don't think she could take him. She was only 15. But she had made a racist comment about a lady in the waiting room. And Jake just tore into her. I'm going to say Jake. I know his name is Jacob. but Yeah, no, that's cool. Well, actually, um, you know, that's I was doing a bit of research and I read his whole statement after yeah. the fact mm -hmm. and um in his statement he said something interesting and i know we normally talk before we do the live but apparently she saw an african-american mowing the lawns out the window 
right, in, yeah. his, in his police statement. So I don't know if she made two comments while he was there with her. Yeah. In the, his statement, I think he only mentioned the one mowing the grass, but yeah. on the video they talked about the one in the doctor's In office. the waiting room. Yeah. yeah. So. But I have the statement. We're going we're gonna to show that. It's four pages. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really interesting read if yeah, you can get does. through the handwriting. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we can. <laughs> but yeah, so I have that. And um, so this day, I guess uh, he was just really agitated by those type of things. And mm, it got too much for him. Yeah. And his original plan was to use a knife, one of his father's knives, like Michael Myers did in the yes. movie. Yeah. But he didn't want them to feel pain. So he decided on a 22 caliber Revolver, that revolver. Stole, yeah, that he stole from his grandfather. Frank, cut it out, please. Hey, I find that I find that really interesting because I heard that too. That he was just going to act out the movie scene because it mm -hmm. looked so easy, and then had this moment of realization that, well, actually, they're they're going to get hurt. I just don't want them to feel it, but you're right. still going to kill them. Right. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It didn't make any sense. No, in crazy. Then, uh, yeah, so he his original plan was to use the knife and decided to use the, the revolver instead. And he also had planned on going next door after he killed his mother and sister mm -hmm. and killing his grandparents and his older sister. Correct. So... I guess I just skipped forward a little bit, so we need to go back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. I'm all out yeah of, so uh, he, he all actually, out of... yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. No, it was just, and the other sister. So the sister he, he killed. Her name was Mallory. Mm -hmm. And then um, Emily was across the road with the grandparents, and then the other sister, Audrey, was sort of out of town. But yeah, he had a plan for everybody. You know yeah. what's funny? Except mm. his dad. Except his father. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's was, really interesting. His father was out of town, but they never mentioned any plans to hurt him. Maybe mm. because he was out of town? I don't know. But I know mm. his other sister was coming into town the next day from college break. Yeah. So he was going to wait yeah. and kill her the next day. Yeah, she was, he, was, he wasn't leaving anyone out except dad. Right. It's crazy. Yeah, so I guess uh, he watched the movie three times that week and him and Mallory were kind of at each other because he was mad at her for the racist comment that she had made. Mm -hmm. And she kept apologizing and trying to get him to watch a movie with her. And he kept saying no. And, you know, just go about his day. He went out and hit some golf balls in the yard and uh, watched what was a family guy. I think he watched family, family guy. guy. Yeah. On yeah. TV and, the whole time he's thinking about his plans and how he's going to do it and, you know, what's going to happen and Hey, Cherokee girl. So, um, Mallory, he went to Mallory and asked, do you still want to watch a movie? And she said, yes. So he went into, I guess they were in her room. Yep. He went into her room. Yeah. And they, what were they watching? I don't even remember now. Do you know? Um, they were watching Waterboy. Waterboy, that's right, yeah. Yeah. And he just kept having these thoughts and wasn't really into the movie, I guess. And then he just all of a sudden hit her with a pillow, <laughs> like a little right. fight. Yeah. Yeah. And then he said, I'm going to go downstairs for a minute or to the art room to get a pen or something like that. Yes. And she, and he left her in the bedroom by himself. So then he goes and I guess that's when he got his revolver. And loaded it. Did yeah. I miss anything? No, no, you've got it right. Yeah, he he took the knife into the bedroom. It was in the pocket, in his right. pocket. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, yeah, I think he thought he'd muck around with a pillow fight and see how that went so he could maybe not look at her while he was going to kill her. Yeah, that sounds like Which, Yeah, but this is the other th crazy thing. Oh, well, okay, now he hasn't had the thought about hurting them yet. He didn't want them to feel pain. But, yeah, he sat there with it in his pocket and then mm -hmm. had a bit of change of heart. But it's still a nut job. Okay, now you haven't missed anything. <laughs> <laughs> so then he um, 
goes back to her door. And I think it even said that he paced back and forth for about five minutes before he finally knocked on her door and told yeah. her that her mother wanted her downstairs. And when she opened the door, he pointed the gun at her. Yeah. And she thought he was messing around and said, you know, you're freaking me out. Cut it out. And I guess went to walk away and he shot her in the back. Yep. And then in the back of the head and she fell down the first flight of stairs. And I'm assuming for, see, this is the part that I'm confused on because I read that the mom was in the study. Yeah, I read that too. But in the video that I watched, she came to the stairs when she heard the gunshots. Yeah. And he was I, still I, at the top yeah. of the stairs and shot her from there. But I think that was just the reenactment of it yeah. all. But yeah, the actual statement, his statement, which I've never seen such a long winded statement. So matter of fact, right. yeah, he yeah. says his mom was in the study. Yeah. And he uh, which surprises me too. How, how mm. do you not hear two gunshots go off in your house and come running anyway? Um, didn't he say that she was, didn't she have her earplug earphones in or something? She was watching something. Oh, maybe, maybe. Yeah. I I've got I my headphones that. in. Someone might come up and shoot me, but I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so, so then um, he moves yes, on to mom. He, yeah. He goes into the study and he shoots his mother three times. And then he runs back to his room and screams at the top of his lungs I guess because of what he just did, mm -hmm. he hears noises and realizes Mallory is still alive. Yep. So How he reloads, terrible. Yeah, he reloads and goes back to the stairs, makes shoots her again, and then goes and shoots his mother in the head again to make sure she was dead. What the hell, that poor girl? Like, can you imagine the pain from being shot in the back? Right. And in the head. By and you're brother. still gurgling. Yeah, mm -hmm. what a horrific way to die. Oh, and then he was, before he shot her the, the second time, he said, he, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and shot her. And then after that, I'm assuming it was then he walked outside like he was going to go to his grandparents' house and carry out the rest of his... He did, yeah. His evil, evil deeds. Yeah, and then turned around and went back to the house, went into the kitchen, put the gun on the kitchen counter and called 911 to turn himself in. Yep. So this kid obviously has some issues more than just Halloween, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It was building up in him. I mean, and I think we'll cover it in his statement if we do, but yeah, he just thought people were racist and entitlement and all the people that he didn't like. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it makes me question the um, how closeted home learning or schooling can be because you're not out there, yeah you're not out there in the real world mixing with other people you if right. you're given a narrative about a certain perspective maybe you can actually you know become racist without even realizing it especially for the sister especially if you're privileged like I don't know but yeah he um, he he had a lot of problems with what he thought was bad in society and then decided that's what part of his family were turning into. Yeah. And that's it. the only justification, really. Yeah, being homeschooled doesn't give the children the opportunity to socialize and mm -hmm. you know, learn about... I mean, I'm not saying I'm taking any digs at, you know, the mothers who do homeschool, but it's just not the same. You can't learn what you can in school and being around other people, just like with, you know, preschoolers learn how to share in right. school. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. It's like, and, and listening to other people's opinions and your peers and, and then listening and hearing different perspectives about people, your own age group and, and things like that. Like that's really important in your development. And, you know, you just, I'm not having to go homeschooling either, but it just gives you a more worldly perspective. I mean, because it's not like they were living in a bad society. You know, they were very affluent. So, yeah, I don't know. Besides golfing, I don't know what else he did socially. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty. Yeah, crazy. they didn't really say anything about that. The only thing they did mm. was he didn't have any mental illnesses. The only thing he had was allergies. So yeah. So I don't know. 
But well, we'll I go back have... to that mental illness point later when we talk about yeah. the trial. But, yeah, sorry, what were you going to say? I do have the 911 call. I'm going to um, awesome. share that and play a little bit of that. But like anything, we're going to have to stop it and make comments so that I don't get mm -hmm. penalized for it. In trouble. Right. <laughs> so let me get that pulled up here and uh, if I can find Shout it. out to the six people in the chat. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Chat's gone quiet. It's all the time. There it is. All right. I'm going to share it. I want to make sure everybody can hear it. It's all the way up. Um. I just clarify something for Gareth because he's our token palm in the chat mm -hmm. and he's talking with Cherokee girl, mm -hmm. but um, Cherokee got your name mixed up with mine. Um, but yeah, Gareth, our people are indigenous. That's what we call the, the Aboriginals that were on the land before white people came here. So Gareth is commenting, um, He's doing a good job for a POM, but anyway. I'm oh, reading. see, TP. Yeah, if I was you don't, reading comment. <laughs> don't homeschool your kids. The government will tell your son that he's actually your daughter and they need to get. Yeah, that's true. That's that's another no, downside of that with don't all that. Believe in that. No, but <laughs> they're critical not race theory. Your son that they're your daughter. Critical anyway, race let's theory. not get into these conspiracies. Mm -hmm. Let's go on. Um. All right, I'm going to play it. Here we go. Ponsor County, now we're one. Where is your emergency? Uh, my house. What's the address? 152 River Creek Way. Can you hear it okay? I can. All right. Okay, what's the emergency? Uh, I just killed my mom and my sister. What? I just killed my what? mom. What? You just killed your mother and your sister. How did you? Yeah, she she's like, um, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. what? At any time you want to make a comment, just start talking and I'll pause it. Okay. You do that. Uh, I shot him with a uh, revolver. He is quite soft. Huh? You can just hear him, but. I've listened to this call, so I kind of know, but no one else is saying anything in the chat, so let's keep going. Yeah, well, it's up as far as it'll go, so I hope they can hear it all. Yeah. All right. Jay Evans. Jay Evans. Are you sure they're dead? Oh, I'm pretty sure that he's sure they're dead. Yeah. He made, he sure, made sure of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Are you sure they did? He's so calm as well when he's on this call. Yeah, yeah. He's just so matter of fact. Right. I mean, imagine you, you've just killed somebody. You've got to be some kind of panicky, you know, and he's just right. low key. You know, yeah, I just yeah, killed my mom yeah. and sister. Yeah, yeah, just I'm a sure little bit like last week. Like right? Cherokee said, topic is familiar. It's like well, even, uh, Jessica. Yeah, but even Jessica was kind of frantic when she was, I mean. True, true. Yep. She had a little bit of emotion in what she's done. Get that ambulance. Yeah, yeah she <laughs> was pretty frantic. This one is. He's calm as can be. Yeah. Thanks, TP. He said audio is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Hold on just a minute. You know when he said, yeah, I'm fine? Yeah. You know who that sounded like? Who? EFD. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. <laughs> it sounded just uh -oh. like it. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Gareth, he is softly spoken. He's just really calm. Where is the gun? Uh, on the kitchen counter. <laughs> it's a 22. Yeah. 
Can I ask a question? Mm-hmm. Well, I know nothing about guns because no Australians have guns. After the government took guns off everyone after the Port Arthur massacre, mm-hmm. you have to have a license and you have to have a reason to carry one and okay. all this other stuff, and it's very difficult to buy one. Um, is a twenty-two like a a small revolver or is it yes, a small high, caliber? Uh, okay, which is why he probably had to do it three times. Probably, I mean. Okay. I guess it depends on the bullets that he put in there. I don't know if 22s, if you can use hollow point bullets or not. I know in the 38s and the 9 mils you can, but I don't know about a 22. I know 22 is a small caliber gun. I mean, a gun is a gun and it, and it has bullets. It, it's going to have the same it effect. It will hurt you. Yeah. But I wonder you. why the grandfather had that. Is Texas, like anywhere in America, you can have a yeah. gun, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, as long as, yeah, most states you have to um, apply for a license and go through the proper training and safety courses, and then you get issued a license before you can actually buy the gun. There you go, yeah, TP's also, got it. Yeah, and they also do background checks and things like that. Oh, okay. But, That's what I was just trying to figure out, why the grandfather would have that, but he TP's well, just I mean, said it's for hunting rabbits. like Yeah, and it's, it's Texas, so most people in Texas, because it is farmlands mostly, mm-hmm. are going in ranches, they're going to have guns. There's guns everywhere in Texas. So, but like I said, it varies from state to state on the gun laws, so I don't know about Texas. Yeah. Right. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Just I just wondered. He's just yeah. like, oh, it's on the counter. It's just sitting there on the counter. Yeah. <laughs> right. I emptied the shells on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sorry. That's all right. It's a long pause there too. That no, nobody's saying anything. Yeah, I think she's in shock. Yeah, she can't believe he actually called, and he's he's fine like he is. Hold on, Cam One, is he okay? Uh, and she's she's telling all the other dispatchers, "You're not going to believe this call." Right. <laughs> <laughs> this kid just said he killed his mom and his sister. Yeah, and I don't think she knows how young he is as well at this stage. <laughs> has he said? No, no, no. no. He hasn't. I don't think. I know she asked his name, but I don't think she asked yeah. his name. I don't remember, to be honest. Jake? Yes? Are you on any kind of medication? No. Well, I, uh, I've been going to the allergist a lot lately. Yeah. But no, nothing other than that. Okay, how old are you? Here we go. Yeah, there you go, yeah. Yeah. And, then, yeah. and that's also when he says, no, no, just allergy. Yeah. 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 I'm not a mental case, although mm-hmm. that comes into play with the court case a little bit. Cherokee, I'm sorry, I had to stop this. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm married. Thanks. <laughs> Gareth is just a wonderful person that we met. I met through Claire, who met him through Pegasus, which is a music channel. But yeah, yeah Gareth is is wonderful. Okay, He's I had people. I had to stop when I saw that. Um, <laughs> you had to clarify that. I had to Gareth is good that. people. Yeah, <laughs> he's a wonderful man. Is Riley Cherokee, I'll send you a picture man. of my husband today sometime. <laughs> okay, here See, we go. Cherokee wrote it. Gareth is a wonderful man. She knows. Claire, Claire and Ying are probably the only ones who's ever seen him. But you no, know, he's. I actually have a video on my channel that says um, even the birds know where to get food or whatever. It's a short. And yeah. Eric, my husband, is the one feeding the birds. So if y'all want to see him, there's a video to see him in. There you go. Hmm. <laughs> Here we go. Hmm. <laughs> Dead air from the dispatcher. Mm-hmm. You were so angry at your mother and your sister? I'm telling you, he sounds like EFD. Does anyone else see that? <laughs> He's so chill. Poor yeah. EFD. He's like, uh, I don't know. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, bless. Hope you. <laughs> we love you, FD. <laughs> yeah, we love you. The two of them, or just anybody? Now he says, "I've been planning to kill for a while now." Yeah. So it, it didn't just happen this last couple of days. It's for a while now. He says. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? Mm -hmm. Right. You have to give this lady credit, though. She's just talking to him like he's just a, a friend on the phone. Made it. Yeah, yeah. like he's just, yeah. He's just made a sandwich and she's just, yeah, I, all credit to people who deal with these calls, man. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Why is it crooked? Because <laughs> he's a bit crooked. It's okay. <laughs> My family, I don't know, they kind of really, I, mean, I guess this is really selfish to say, but to me, they felt like they were suffocating me. Okay. All right. No, don't be sorry. It's all right. I'm listening. Okay. You don't be sorry. I can hear you pecking in the background there, woman. Well, I can hear you when you type. <laughs> I'm mute when I type. No, you're fine. I'm just saying. Uh, were your mom and sister in their bed? No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, had to pull over for this. I've seen Chrissy and she is more wonderful than Gareth. <laughs> Love you, Ying. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, this, this is really going to mess me up, sort of, you know, in the future. You think? Ugh. Okay, that's fine. I'll never forget this. He said, no, I don't think you ever will. Nope. No, he's going to be in a jail cell for the rest of his natural life, thinking about it. Well, but anyway. Not, not really. Wait, we'll get to that too. Mm -hmm. You would just assume that at this point. <laughs> right, right, yeah. <laughs> Mm. His pitch is moving. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. That's that's not me. That's the video. <laughs> Did you hear what he just said? I told my sister to lay still that he was going to make it go away. I missed that in the first Wow. Time. Yeah, I hadn't heard that. I hadn't, mm -hmm. yeah. I think I was more astounded when I was initially listening to this and yeah, that's that's a bit chilling. Yeah. Yeah, but finally she fell down and I shot her in the head. So they're both downstairs? Oh, yeah. Okay, where are you? In the kitchen. Okay. Just in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You're not sitting by the gun, are you? No, it's about like. Right. He's getting a snack. All that killing made oh. him hungry. 
the, the go-to thing for murderers. Let's have, let's right? have a damage. <laughs> Where's your dad? He's out of town. Good question. Mm -hmm. Do you know where he is? Out of town? Washington, D.C. And uh, to, for, I guess to speak for wrestling, I don't really want to see any of my family members, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, what was that, you know, Chrissy? He said he does not, for future reference, he does not want to see any of his family members, you know, like visiting hours and That's stuff like that. That's right. And yeah, I don't, I don't I know why that. that was. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's, he's, seen he's him in court, really but, stuck to that. Yeah. Yeah, but he won't, father, he won't correspond with them. He doesn't right, want to no. accept visits. Yeah, his father and two okay. sisters were in the courtroom, so. Where do you go to school, Jake? Uh, well, I used to go to Leah High School, mm -hmm. but now um, I have been homeschooled. Yeah. So there's just um, you and your sister and your mom and dad in the house? Living? Well, no, my dad's out of town. Well, yeah, but normally it's just your mom and your uh, sister and dad and you. Yeah, my grandpa and grandma they live across the street and my my older sister she lives with my grandparents and uh i have another sister uh, and she's out in college she's going to come out to visit us tomorrow i'm curious so if crazy. he yeah, actually yeah. says and i was going to kill them too you know go ahead yeah yes yeah. so so basically, em Emily's the one over with the grandparents, and then Audrey's yes. the one who's meant to be coming in. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah it will be interesting to college. see if he tells her. Yeah. Okay. And and it was a good pause, so you know. Yeah. Yeah. Time to pause yeah. anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't want to hurt yourself, do you? Oh, sure. You don't want to hurt yourself. Yeah, I, he's not getting a straight answer whether he wants to hurt himself or not, so that's no, that right there, that yeah, right there probably helped his case, you know. Yeah, that's quite interesting, and I find mm -hmm. it, I find it like one of the, the, I don't know, I don't want to jump ahead here, right? But this didn't go to trial, right? But one of the things, like, so you really didn't get inside his head. This is probably the most you get inside his psyche about why he wanted to do all this, right? And, and I. And, and I'm just thinking like that. The closest thing was he just wanted to see what it was like. What yep. I find astounding is you can kill your own family members and then still have the presence of mind to go, well, I didn't want them to, to feel anything. But he hadn't mm -hmm. got the balls to do anything to himself, has he now? Right. And that probably would have been the best thing. Yeah, not that I. I'm sorry, <laughs> that yeah, was me. Yeah, right. But... but yeah, not that I want people to. <laughs> yeah, I don't want people to kill themselves. Like I'm with you on that, but I just find it astounding. He's kind of dodging the answer, like you said, but at the mm -hmm. same time, I reckon he he would not have the balls to kill himself. But yeah, yeah go like, be like go kill said, him. Easy targets. He chose easy targets. So. Mhm. Mm yeah. Just to see what it felt like. Yeah. Because Michael Myers was at ease with it and had no remorse. So, 
he oh, found yeah, out. Hold on a second. It's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a movie. It's not right. real. Oh my god. It's not Hollywood, buddy. <laughs> okay. Crazy kids. All right. There, there are people that will help you. He said, I'm going to be messed up. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, duh. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there's going to be other people that are messed up. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't, like, I didn't like the feeling. Yeah, he never never thinks about what everyone else is going to think about all this, huh? Mm-hmm. The mm -hmm. grandparents, the two other sisters that are left mm -hmm. without a mom and a sister and, and a brother. Because he's yeah, not going to be in the house. One of the pictures I seen, there was a young boy. I'm assuming is one of that his sister has a child. So, oh God. Mm -hmm. Well, you just take a deep breath. We have deputies coming, and they're going to help you. We're here to help you too. Okay. Oh, she's so good. Yeah. I couldn't do that. We're going to help you. We're not going to hurt you. All right? I understand it. Don't want to. No, we're not going to hurt you. We're there to help you, Jake. All right. That's the, everybody thinks that, you know, we want to do bad things, but we don't. We want to help people. Right or wrong, we want to help people. And we're going to help you. God, she's good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you understand that? Yeah. We're also here to help. Okay. Jake, where is the kitchen in the house? Is it the back of the house? Yeah, kind of to the back, I guess. Yeah. You know, this call has been going on for 10 minutes already. I'm shocked that the cops are not there already. They must really yeah. live in, in a rural neighborhood. Yeah, it's in Texas, right? Yeah. Yeah, but can like you imagine I, if... The pictures I've seen yeah. from, you know, the aerial view of the house, there was houses around them, so it's not like it's all country. I mean, there was, there's like a suburb. Yeah, proper neighborhood. But can yeah. you imagine if you, if you needed, like, life-saving... Yeah, yeah. Like an ambulance to come and save your life. Or Medical mm -hmm. treatment? You're roboting a little bit. All right, let's go. Okay. Um, we're talking with our sergeant now. He's almost at your house. But we'll probably, what I'll probably ask you to do, Jake, when he gets there, is turn your porch light on. Uh, okay. Okay, and what he'll probably do is ask you to come out. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So you'll be all right. You're going to be all right. Now, she hasn't told him yet not to touch that gun and not bring it out with him, so I hope they have enough sense to... to Reiterate that to him. And I hope you're not talking clear because I can't hear you. Oh boy. <laughs> Damn Australian Wi Fi. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm going to stay on the phone with you, though, and talk with you. That's okay. And you can talk to me. I'll listen. Is there anything you want to talk about? What's your grandfather's or uh, grandparent's last name? Stephen. Stephen, with a V or a PH? What's that? Stephen. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Gary. And grandma? Uh, Diane. Okay. 
do you, is it a gated community? Is there a gate? Uh, yeah. And that's a, you know, they live in a gated community. It's, I should have gotten a picture of the house to show you guys and I might still before we end, but I, I don't know. Isn't just, I just, I'm having a very hard time. There has to be mental issues going on here. Yes, please. Radio. Yeah, they bleeped that Do one out. Do you have a driver's license? No. No, no driver's license? What's your date of birth, honey? Uh, 1995. Month? Uh, May. May and the date? May 22nd. May 22nd, 1995. This picture is freaking me out turning like that. I didn't notice that it did that. <laughs> um, let me see if I can minimize and let Claire back up. But without screwing this up, let's see. We're at 1225 just in case. All right. Are you back? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. I'm so sorry. That was oh, uh, a okay. little, little miss who had a quick emergency. Sorry. Uh, that's all right. <laughs> it's the only person I allow to interrupt a live stream. So right. apologies, everybody. So sorry. Uh, that's okay. I was just hoping At least I she's wouldn't not watching this. a horror movie. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully she listens to me and don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I was just um, afraid that if I minimized to let you back up, that it would mess the thing up, but it didn't. So we're good. It didn't. Well, well, it's not a, it's not a true crime live stream if my internet doesn't bug out or I get a phone call. This so. is true. <laughs> this is true. Hey, now this photo is, this photo, I love, like, it's a bit spooky. It's a bit paranormal. This photo is just, like, moving, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, now it's upside down. <laughs> He's accommodating I, for the Australian in notice, the chat. <laughs> I didn't notice that it did this either, so I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> He's, da He's down under now. He's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. All right. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to stay on the phone with you. They'll be there shortly. Claire, while you were gone, uh, he gave the passcode to the, to the gates to the sheriff. So oh, they're all there. So it's a gated community even. A community, yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Still, I wouldn't want to be on death's doorstep uh, 12, mm. nearly 13 minutes in. Mm -hmm. Do you know how hard it is if someone was having a heart attack? Let's just quickly because we can yeah. pause right um and you've got to do cpr on a person like i'm first aid trained for yeah, work I do know. Mm -hmm. can you imagine 13 minutes of yeah. manual cpr where are they emergency services <laughs> <laughs> anyways it's crazy mm -hmm. by the end of this he'll be right way up <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Call 434, are you en route to the 1215? Did she say 1215? Are you en route to the 1215? Um, I think she said to the 12 to assist. It's probably just oh, police. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I love that type of stuff. That, what, yeah, um, like 10 forward. Code. And, yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay.
I'm really surprised that they're allowing him to hear the scanner in the background. That mm. that doesn't happen. Normally they mute themselves? Yeah, normally it's one dispatcher will take all the information in the call down and then in this kind of a situation, another dispatcher will be on the phone or on the scanner or whatever with the police officers. So I'm sur yeah, good surprised point. that he's actually listening to all this in the background. Mm -hmm. Jake, would you mind going to the front door and turning the porch light on or any lights that you have outside? Okay, okay. Call 414, or call 404. My caller has to turn the front lights on for you. He's being really accommodating. Mm hmm. <laughs> The most accommodating murderer. Mm -hmm. Wow, and there's still like 10 minutes of this call, right? Yeah, it's um, nine minutes and 54 seconds left yeah. of the call. They're still wow. not even at the house yet. Yeah. I think what they're doing is they're probably, there's probably a couple there, but because of the nature of the call, they have to wait for, you know, like the coroner. Back and, yeah, and back up and yeah. so they can secure mm. the actual house before they go up. So even though she's on the phone with him and he says the gun's on the counter, you, you never know with these people. That's it. They're, they're coming into an armed situation and yeah. she's kept him quite calm. Mm -hmm. Again, I can't credit this woman enough. It's definitely what you said. Nothing I could do. Like I couldn't do this kind of job, but, mm -hmm. but yeah, I suppose they've got protocols that especially when you've just said you've murdered your mother, like, whew. yeah. You've got to be careful about what you're walking into. Gareth, yes, it is very weird. Mm -hmm. Are you okay, Jake? <laughs> How old is she? 15. Yeah. See, now he's looking at Mallory and he's regretting what he's done and he's actually starting to feel something now. Yep. How long ago did this happen? Or how long ago did you? You shoot your sister and mom. Mm, good question. When you called? 30, 30 About 30 minutes ago. So that's so interesting, Christy. Walking around staring at the bodies? Yeah, because we're 15 minutes into this, 16 minutes into this phone call, right? Mm -hmm. And he's saying he did it. 30 minutes ago. So what did he do for those 15 minutes besides go up to the room and scream and yell at the ceiling? Hmm. Can you imagine? I could not even be in the presence of a dead body, let alone my family members. <sighs> my brain's exploding. Yeah. About 30 Be all right, okay. Be all right. So reassuring. 
Mm-hmm. He's worried about nightmares. That's all he's worried about. Oh, yeah. And, he's going to relive the, this. Mm-hmm. And the 15 minutes that he Before was in he the called. house. Yeah. Was some the screaming and stuff he did before he put another bullet in Mallory. And then Mm -hmm. he went down and shot his mother again to make sure she was dead. And then he Mm -hmm. walked outside because remember he was going to go kill his grandparents. Yep. And his other sister, Emily. Yeah. And he changed his mind and went back to the house and into the kitchen. So that could have been the 15 minute gap there. I don't know. Yep. Yep. True. Well, I think there is. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but, you know, uh, the justice system. And I'm sure your family will get you the support you need. I don't mean to sound like a word thing, but more you could. Wow. I've never done anything violent in my whole life. You don't sound like a violent person. No, you don't. Always the quiet one. It's, right, yeah? He doesn't sound like a violent person. No, no. What <laughs> no, no, he's person? had his one episode yeah. and he's done for the rest of his life. Did you see private chat that I sent you a message? Just saying. Oh. But there, well, um, I'm so scared to jump in a private chat and drop out, but I'll try. Medical and psychological. That will be provided to He's breathing heavy. Mm. He knows it's coming. Yep. Take deep breaths for me, okay? You're doing fine. In through your nose and out through your mouth. You don't hyperventilate, okay? Very true, Gary. And that'll slow down your heart rate, too. I'm sure it's just jumping all over in your chest. a lot calmer right now. <laughs> he, he, he said he more chill, he'll be ice. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, she's like, I'm sure your heart rate is pounding out of your chest right now. Well, it doesn't sound like it to me. It sounds like he's pretty chill. Mm-hmm. Just keep taking deep breaths. It'll keep the anxiety. Are there any cars in your driveway, Jay? No. No cars in the driveway? He's not very talkative right now, is he? No. Mm -mm. The only thing he's worried about right now is his nightmares and how this is going to mess him up. Mm-hmm. Should have thought about that before he did it. Yeah, I don't think he's too concerned about his house about to become a circus with police officers yeah. and medicals. And is, see, that's another really interesting point, just talking on that. Like, right now, he's worried about himself. <laughs> he, mm-hmm. he didn't care about no. the family, about his dead mom. 
Oh. Sorry, hold on, hold on. It's not phasing him Just one bit right now. No, and this is this is the one thing which I struggle with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, who? Oh God, I could go down a rabbit hole here just quickly, so I'll try to be very succinct. You give birth to children, you raise them, you feed them, you take care of them when they're sick, you school them, you educate them, you try to, and then it comes out like this. Right. And all he's worried about is himself and what he's going to feel. Yep. No wonder when this first went to the courts, he was not deemed competent, but we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. But who does this? Right. Anyway, zero perspective. Sorry, let's go. I'm We're nearly there. We've got five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Ungrateful little bastard. See, told you the picture is going to be straight by the time we get to the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Four minutes left of this call. <laughs> Can you imagine, like right now, there's no talking. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine the the worry of the dispatcher or the person on the phone, and the anxiety this guy must be like? I'm just going to get like five million cops at my door and probably bash the shit out of me or some shit. Like, yeah. Can you imagine? I don't know which is more. Which would be more? I don't know. I was going to say scary, waiting for the wave of the police. But then can you imagine the mental, I nearly was going to say stimulation of when he actually pulled that trigger. This guy, he's riding so many waves right now and he's calm as cucumber. Yeah. I don't get it. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Jake, my officers are almost there. Fine. Would you be willing to walk out on your own? For some okay, reason, that's fine as long as it's on the counter. Hmm. Uh, All right, I, I believe for some reason, and the reason is because you reloaded they- it to make sure they were dead. Oh. But sorry, I know we're talking about facts right now, but now you've got me, you've got me listening. And he just made a comment; it did sound like a EFD again. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, oh. no. Hey, but I'll stay on the phone with you until you know it's time for you to walk out. Okay? Are you on a on your home phone? Oh, yeah. Is it cordless? He's so compliant, it just blows my brain. Yeah. There's only two minutes left of it now, so it's got to be, they've got to be like ready to come and get him. Yeah.
breathing. Keep breathing. Mm-hmm. I think she's talking to herself. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too, yeah. <laughs> what color is your house, Jay? Red brick? Okay. Red brick. Okay. Okay, Jake, what I want you to do is after we get through talking, I want you to put the phone down and leave it in the kitchen. You don't have to hang it up, okay? But I want you to walk outside, but when you're walking through the house and outside, stay visible. You know, don't hide behind any furniture. Open the front door. Do you have a a glass screen door or a glass door or just the front door? Okay. When you open the front door, step back, put your hands behind your head, and slowly walk outside. Okay? Or keep your, I'm not behind your hand, but keep your hands up in the air. Just walk very slowly and walk outside. But keep your hands visible. All right, Twitty? Okay. Go ahead and put the phone down and do it. And then just listen to what Sergeant Fletcher has to say. He's very appreciative that you're willing to come out on your own. He thinks that's great. All right? And I'll talk to you later. All right. You're welcome. No, you won't. Mm -mm. (laughs) The line's open. See the picture. Mm-hmm. Just corrected itself the whole time. It's yeah. magic. <laughs> so towards the end there, didn't hang up the phone, he just laid it down and the line was still open. She was saying the line's still open. <laughs> yeah. So well, he, he did, funnily enough, he was so compliant. He did what she said, just lay the phone down, don't hang up. That's true. She yeah. did everything. Sorry, he did everything. She, 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 she told him, oh, that woman needs a medal. I think she earned a day off after that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she definitely right. did a great job. So now. Yeah, now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It gets charged with Um, capital murder. hmm. Now I've got lots of things to say. Yeah. Yeah. However. Now, in my, yeah. I was just going to say he didn't, um, couldn't stand trial. They, They found him incompetent to stand trial. So it was a long two and a half years before he finally became competent. And I'll tell you what he got after Claire has something to say. Go ahead. Claire. Well, yeah. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Um, so after this incident, he was in maximum security. Yeah. Um. In a mental hospital. Yep. Because initially he was ruled incompetent to stand trial, right? Right. And what I learned from doing a bit of research, because this is Texas, Mm -hmm. and this will go to, I didn't understand what capital murder was in America. More than one person, I do believe. So, because obviously I understand what he got sentenced with, and I was you're really roboting it all out. But apparently, this is two things we're talking about right now. Because the mental thing, he was in a mental maximum security men. Mm-hmm. Um, but. You can't sentence a 17-year-old to death. Right. Yeah, you're really roboting and cutting in and out. I don't know if you stepped away from your router or what. And you can't 
put a 17 year old in prison for the rest of their natural that's why they couldn't pursue the prosecution couldn't pursue capital murder oh am i i haven't even moved yeah <laughs> really you were yeah i mean it's fine now can you hear me now yeah i can hear you i haven't moved mm. i've stayed still oh mm. okay so yeah that's the um, capital murder i believe is more than one me? person i think there might be like this huge delay because oh she just left all right let's see if she comes back All right, I'm going to show you this picture here is his mother, him in the middle, and then his sister that he murdered on the right. That's Mallory and his mother, Jamie. So that's them. Now look at how he looks right here. He doesn't look like that in a lot of the other pictures. I'm still waiting on Claire. And here's one of the pictures from court I think he looks a little different there yeah Frank that's what happens when you do a serious stream and not one that you're just messing around and whatever so you, you get serious and you do a lot of thinking okay and then here we have his mother and father who his father was out of town in DC when this happened. So I want to save the other two pictures for when she gets back. Still waiting on her. But um, well, here's one. This is the in court. That's his father and his sisters on each side of his father. And that was from the court. And I do have um, copies of his written statement that he did. I mean, it's four pages long, and I'm not sure if I don't think we're going to read it. So, but I will show it just hopefully. I'm hoping Claire gets back. Still waiting on her. Let's see what the chat's saying. Um, oh, let me switch screens here. Do, 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 do. Uh, yes, he is sheltered. I'll show you the house when Claire gets back. I wanted to save that one. Um, can they pass a death penalty? They can, but they didn't want to because he was 17 at the time. Here, Claire's back. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Well, I didn't even move. Like, I'm like a little frozen statue when we do these live streams. It must have been the wind. Maybe. Sorry. All right. I showed, I don't know if you looked, but I showed some of the pictures. Oh, yeah. I saw some pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to. So, does I Texas to have a death last... penalty? I do believe they do, yes. Okay. But because he was 17, they couldn't do it? Well, they, they didn't want to because he was 17. Okay. The prosecutors right. and them didn't. But this picture I was saving for when you got back. This is it's a little fuzzy, but it's his dad, his um, sister's boyfriend. I'm going from left to right. His sister, Audrey. And the little boy, which I'm assuming is Audrey's kid, or maybe it's Emily, which, would, which is next to that one. I don't know. Which would and be then, his nephew. Right. And then him and then Mallory and his mom. Mm. So that's the one that I've seen with the little boy in it. I don't right. know if that's Audrey's or Emily's son, but this the guy next to his father is his sister's boyfriend. So I'm assuming Audrey's. And then this is the house. Look at this house. 
It's huge. Right? Look at that pool. Yeah. It's... I think the night of the murder, he um, mm -hmm. he went to the pool house and ate his dinner there. Like, my yeah, gosh. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah he said my that gosh. in his statement, which I was just talking about. And I'll show the mm -hmm. statement and each day, but I don't think we're going to sit here and read it all. Because it's, it's a lot. No, there was... um. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm just reading Gareth's comment as well. Stunned how he could not be given the death penalty that I found when I was looking into this, Chrissy, is that mm -hmm. the family didn't want to go through a capital murder trial. Yeah, the, like the um, family attorney didn't was want the all attorney of that did aired. A the attorney made a statement saying that the family didn't family either had to go through a we capital did. murder trial or two different murder trials because it was two people. Hey, can And they didn't want to do that. So they agreed with the plea bargain mm. that was set mm. down from the prosecutor. So, and the plea bargain uh, and was, that plea bargain was murder instead of we're twinning was murder instead of um capital murder yeah so and and interesting enough by the time this did come before the courts just before the plea agreement mm -hmm. he was actually um evaluated and found to be competent even though he spent yeah. time in a maximum security mental hospital yeah yeah well that's why he yeah. was there so that they can make get him competent to stand trial so he was in the in there well, for it was like two and a half years. Well, I'm just thinking I'm having Laurie Vallow vibes right now, just saying. Yeah. Yeah, she'll mm -hmm. finally um, be deemed competent and she'll go to trial too. But I hope that's so. what happened with him. So he was nineteen when he when he went to court and he was seventeen when this happened. Mm. So and yeah, he pled guilty to two counts of murder and was sentenced to 45 years. Concurrent. Yeah, for both. Yep. But so, he only has so to serve one. 20 before he's eligible for before parole. Before he can apply for parole. Right. Well, eligible for parole, not apply. You think anyone's, yeah. yeah, you think, you know, do you think anyone's going to give him parole? Actually, yeah, I do, because he was a child when this happened. He's getting mental help, which he'll probably continue to be mm -hmm. on medications and continue getting help throughout his prison stay. And mm. they'll say he's okay to be released. So he's being rehabilitated. Yep. That's exactly what they're going to say. So I do think he will get out after the 20 years. So. Yeah. Do I keep saying murder, not murder, murder? Yeah, what do you get for murder? Except for Frank, of course, because he has to have the attention onto him and just murder. make fun of everything. Um, yeah, it says Evans will be eligible for parole after serving half his 45-year sentence, including the time he's mm. already served. He'll be eligible for parole. Which was two and a half years? years. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Right. So that's why when well, we were just talking about how he got 45 for each, but then this statement right here says he only got one 45 year sentence. So. Oh, really? That's what it, it says. Evans will be eligible for parole after serving half his 45 year sentence. So that's all he got was 45 years. Whereas mm. with the capital murder, he could have gotten the death penalty or life without parole. So Yes. Well, the lesson here is don't watch horror movies and don't kill people, <laughs> basically. Right? Basically. Yeah, right. Just basically, don't murder yeah. people. <laughs> I mean, last week's was Chainsaw Massacre. This week's is... Halloween, and we're not going to tell you what next week's is. You'll have to wait and see. But, Jeep. um, yeah. <laughs> it's creepers. 
Can you? Yeah, Halloween. I showed the first yeah. written statement. I'm going to show but each we, one of them, and I'll keep it up on the. But we're doing a little. I, I was saying to Chrissy yeah. earlier, like we do this little. Um. Can you hear me, Claire? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, but I think maybe there's yeah, a delay. But um. It just started raining, you know, so I've got to get the mouse back on the wheel to make the internet work. Oh, mm. so annoying. Yeah, I'm going to show each page of the written statement and I'll leave it on there for a few seconds so that if somebody wants to go back, they can pause the video and read it. But I don't want to sit here and read through this whole thing unless you want to. No, but um, the the last paragraph on the fourth page I found very insightful because the rest of the statement is just purely matter of fact of what happened. But the last paragraph on page four I thought was some um, because it was his reflection on society, his his justification for doing what he did, and um, and again when he says so, there it is. Yeah. Um, I look at people, especially teenagers, I see them as being very cruel to one another emotionally. It seems that their favourite thing, hobby, is picking on someone else. The people who are racist bullies and who are full of themselves are really the evil ones. And it amazes me because these are the qualities, these are these three qualities are extremely common today. I was very sad because I felt like my own family were becoming the people that I hate. Mm. It's yeah, the most I mean, dreadful thing and terrifying thing I have ever experienced. Oh, well, he it's like buyer's remorse, but murderer's remorse. You didn't seem very mental during that, right? Right? Totally. Yeah. So... I just thought when yeah. I've read that statement as well, and um, I just thought that's well, it's probably the only insights you get to get on his state of mind, and he's just under the radar. What are you laughing at, <laughs> Frank? He said, "I'll f you up, Chrissy. Hit that cash app, Frank, and then you can f me up." Um. <laughs> there you go. You just got an in, Frank. Frank, you're in. Hit that cash app, Frank. <laughs> Claire, um, give me five minutes. Can you um, entertain people for five minutes, please? Yes. 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 Okay. I'll do some right. dancing. I'll right um, talk Aussie. Aussie lang lingo, lango, go. All right. So who have we got here? Four people. Well, it's Gareth and me and Chrissy and Pablo. Pablo just broke up with Chrissy. Chrissy isn't in a relationship with Gareth because Ing was asking that. Um, and I just think this poor young boy, impulse acted, and he's paying for, for the rest of his natural life because he murdered, murder. He murdered someone, Pablo. Murder. That's how you say it. Yeah, you said that before, Gareth. Exactly. I, I, some, I, enjoy watching true crime and looking at it and investigating it and so part of that is Claire nice one what about some quick general knowledge questions I can do that I was just going to say though like one of my go-to parts in my head when I hear this is um how would you cope in prison I mean if you're not even well adjusted for natural life on the outside how can you be adjusted for life on the inside g'day napdos hey welcome mate I'm back. um chrissy's just stepped away for a bit are you I'm back? back yep oh Ooh. she's back see that wasn't five minutes what are you talking about woman <laughs> was... <laughs> that one five minutes i did good no one left people came <laughs> or one <laughs> that's good yeah <laughs> Frank still hasn't hit that cash app yet, though, so F you, Frank. I think he's busy doing it in the background. Yeah. 
Gareth. <laughs> so, um, any questions from the uh, chat? Nap, you have a wrench, right? Yes, he has a wrench. Okay. Yeah, he's blue. Da -ba -dee, da -ba -da. He's blue. So. <laughs> well, that was um, that was a pretty crazy case. You know, yeah. no form, no prize, nothing, just snapped. I just can't get over how calm he was, though. I mean, even crazy Jessica Camilleri was panicked when she was telling her side of the story, you know, and I don't know. He's yeah, just so it, it's, calm. And it's interesting to look, yeah, it's interesting to look at, can you imagine like the psych evaluations he must go through in prison as well? Like Gareth was saying, he's going to be passed around like a toy. And when you're away, I, I made that comment, like watching true crime and, and looking at cases, like how do you, if you're not well adjusted outside of prison, imagine how fucked up you're going to be once you're in the system. Like that's scary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and if he does get out after the 20 years, which like I said, I think he will. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. his parent, his father will forgive him. I think I read that they already have. I'm, yeah. They, yeah. Where's he, they, what's he yeah, they wanted like a lesser he, sentence. Yeah, I mean, what's he going to do with his, you know, I mean, are they just going to, hey, come on home, Jake, everything's fine. You know, there's your old room waiting on you. Sorry, mom can't make you a sandwich. You know, you killed her. You know, I mean, how's this going to work? Right, right. Or, I mean, if he's not wanting anything to do with them while he's in prison, I reckon he's just going to have anything to do with them. Um, I think that was probably the incompetent part of him talking. And... I got a feeling that his father's already put lots of money on his commissary and they're still in there having visitations and I'm not so certain about his sister. What's a commissary? That's a, um, a fund where they can go and buy their ramen noodles and chips and stuff like that. It's called a oh, commissary. Oh yeah. All right. So yeah, you can donate money so they can buy stuff. Yeah, you, you can't give them actual money. You can't send them money, but you can put it on their books. It's called the commissary. Okay. So, yeah. See, little and, do I know about prison life. Yeah. <laughs> I, and don't ask me how I know that, but yes, it's called a commissary. <laughs> but, I mean, they can buy, like, <laughs> chips, you know, extras. So a lot of prison shows that I've watched – these guys will use the commissary yep. as tools to bribe other inmates to do things. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's true. I actually, yeah, I've seen that. I just, yeah, didn't know the word for it, but yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. Like they'll have one it's crazy, you know, All right. big guy on the, on the ward that will be the protector of everyone, but you have to pay him in, you know, chips or ramen noodles and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm stunned by all if this case from the crime to the judgment. All of this. Okay. Case. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty stunning. We don't just pick pussy crimes. <laughs> we pick crazy oh. ones. Right? <laughs> Got the good ones. Wait till next week. Yeah, that's, that's going to be interesting. All right. Well, you stepped away for five minutes, which was only two. I'm going to step away for one minute, all right? But I'm not yep. moving. I'm not touching anything. So the Wi-Fi will stay connected. I'm just going to mute for one second, okay? Okay. Dead air. Over to Chrissy. <laughs> Dead air. Yeah. Um I don't even know what to say. Uh, I guess, I mean, I don't know if we should do an after show. So if somebody would want to come up on panel and talk or if they have anything they want to 
say, I mean, I don't want to do that on this stream, but I'll more than happy to start another one so that um, we can have a panel if somebody wants to come up and join us. Thanks, Gareth. You're the best. Yeah. I mean, there's only three here, according to my thing. So I guess once I told Frank to hit that cash app, he left. Gareth is here. I'm assuming the other one is Claire. <laughs> and maybe Napdos is still here. I don't know. Don't know. So maybe when Claire gets back, we'll end it and see what she wants to do. If she wants to start another one for a little while and see how it goes, we can do that. If not, then we'll just move on about our business. Gareth, I really appreciate you being here. I know it's really late for you. Yeah, I means that you're here. I heard you. Hi. Hi. I'm back. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I, was, oi, oi, oi. I was just saying that um, <sighs> wait till you come back and see how you felt if you wanted to do an after stream so we can do a panel or if you just want to say that's it and shut it off for the night or what. Well, you, well, I'm happy. I'm happy to do that because I've gained a whole goddamn hour. <laughs> <laughs> so as long as you're not too tired, hey Twiggy, I'm happy to do that. Oh, oh hey Twiggy. Only eleven forty-one here. We've been just oh cool. Twigs, we've just been talking about a case, which is like a copycat killing. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a we it's kind of a little bit on the back of the Jessica Camilleri one last week, which is horror movie themes so but we got out of australia this week we got out of australian crime <laughs> <laughs> yeah. didn't we chrissy yeah. rewatch give me that view twiggy <laughs> so um so let's end it here and i'll restart another one so if anyone's listening give us less than five minutes it doesn't take long to um restart and then we'll see you back here as always thank you claire for yeah. being here and with me and we will yeah it's my pleasure and next week your pleasure what go ahead no it's my pleasure and i was just going to thank gareth for being such a cool little dude hanging out shooting the shit with cherokee earlier on like that when he was trying to yeah and thank his you. horizons which is she did hit which the is up. uncommon i appreciate it very much cherokee she did? She did, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at Gareth. I can't jump out of my um, phone right now, but what, what time is it in the UK? He's just yeah. like going the Five. distance, Gareth. Yeah. <laughs> look at him. He needs to pass 5 out. 5 a.m. Really late oh. for him. <laughs> yeah. Well, we appreciate everyone that's dropped by. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to start over and uh, give me what two minutes, Claire, and I'll send you the link, and then we'll go. We'll go for a little while longer. Okay. Okay. All right. See you later, Gareth. Sleep well, mate. <laughs> See you soon. Thanks, Gareth. Twiggy, that dose. Frank. Thanks, Twigs. <laughs> Nap. Cherokee girl. See you in a and couple minutes. And Canal. And Canal. Yes. Okay. I forgot Canal. All right. Bye. Bye.